What's up, Ice House? How are you tonight? There you go. You guys having a good time? Good, man. That's what I like to hear. I'm having a good time, too. I was just in the back. I was talking to this girl, and she put an end to that. You can't even talk to women anymore. You know, I just don't know how to talk to you ladies anymore. There's too many hoops you have to jump through, too many head games going on, you know? You ask a woman out these days, you never know what you're going to hear anymore. I asked a girl out to dinner one night, and she was like, uh, I was like, I was wondering if maybe you'd like to have dinner sometime. Um, um, do you mean, do you mean as, as friends? No, detectives. Yeah, I thought we'd get a bite to eat and hit the crime lab. Maybe solve a couple cases. Uh, do you know anything about forensics? Can you character sketch? Ah, well then, friends it is. We're just gonna have to be friends. I thought you were on to something. I thought you might have had some clues. I'm telling you, man. Only a woman will say something to you like, who are you? See? I don't even know you anymore. You're certainly not the person I first met. I met you at a costume party a week ago. Get off my back. Get off my back. The innocence is gone, man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. It is good to be here tonight, though, man. I just got laid off from my job. And I don't want to sit here and say the name of the company, but let's just say it rhymes with Disney. All right? <laughs> Y'all with me? All right, good. You look like an intelligent audience. And what I realized, though, is when I'm not in my normal groove, you know, when I'm not doing my normal thing, little things have been getting at me. You know, not big stuff, but the little stuff. Like, people that breathe out of their nose really loud. That drives me crazy. Because they always want to do it, like, right over your shoulder. You know what I'm talking about? Like, oh, you're on the computer? <laughs> what are you looking at? Apparently, I'm looking at somebody with a deviated septum. Apparently, that's what I'm looking at, all right? Why don't you get a job with some benefits and get that fixed? Disney's hiring. They got one opening. Jeez. You know what else drives me crazy that I can't stand? Dudes that drive shirtless. I just hate that. I just hate it. Put a shirt on, man. Put a shirt on. I don't need to smell you in traffic, all right? I don't, I don't need that today. Not today. Oh, what else is driving me crazy right now? How about people that name their pets human names? That's absurd. It's, yeah, right? It's absurd, man. You ever been to somebody's house and you go over there like, Kevin! Kevin! Like, is, is your brother home? No, that's my cat. That's my cat. I call him my cat. And speaking of cats, single guys with cats, get off the planet. Get off the planet. I'm gonna tell you right now, there is no reason a single man needs to have a cat. None. And don't tell me your girlfriend left it. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Maybe she left some makeup or a straggling toothbrush was left behind, but not her cat, all right? Not unless her name was Eric. Then maybe she left the cat, all right? Maybe then. Maybe then. We got any spider haters in the audience tonight? Spiders? Yeah, okay, good. Not the little ones, though. The little ones don't bother me so much. It's the big ones. I'm really surprised how big the spiders are in California. I've seen spiders as big as my fist, you know? And they build stuff. Not cobwebs, like tool sheds. You know what I mean? I went in the kitchen the other night and flipped the light on. There was a spider in the corner holding my cashews hostage. He was like, turn that light off, man. You know I got sensitive retinas. Hey. Do me a favor, leave your keys in my change bowl on the dresser. Cause I got errands to run. I know you're laid off, man. I'll top the tank off if I have time, all right? Hey, look out back real quick. Do you see the tool shed? Like, all right, man, I'll check the tool shed out. All right. Spiders, not big on the spiders, man. You know what else is driving me crazy too these days is punk kids. I can't stand punk kids anymore. I just went back to Baltimore. I was hanging out with my little cousin, 10 years old, him and all his friends, 10. They all want to be gangsters. And I'm trying to be a positive role model. I'm like, look, man, you mess around with gangs, you're going to end up in prison. I don't think they get it. I think the kid's a little bit retarded. And I tease him about it, and my grandmother gets on me. She's like, Ryan, you can't tease him like that. He's one of God's children. All right, now while that might be true, that's certainly not the reason you shouldn't tease retarded kids, right? You shouldn't tease retarded kids because they're strong, like orangutan strong, you know? Because they don't know limits. They don't know limits. You tease a retarded kid, they'll snap your legs off and color with them. They don't care. They will beat the brakes off you, man. 
they will beat the brakes off you. And we underestimate retarded kids in this country, we do. Personally, I think retarded ch kids and dogs should be mandatory parts of all rescue teams. Because God forbid, God forbid you're ever stuck under a bus. The dog will find you like that. But it's hours before the heavy equipment's getting out there to help you out. That little retarded kid just pick it right up. Save you. He has no idea he just tore everything in his shoulder. He doesn't know he's not supposed to do that. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, man. And I'm not talking about all retarded kids, all right? I'm not talking about all of them. I'm talking about, like, kids with just a dash of downs. Just a dash of downs, that's all. Just a dash. You ever see Shaq dunk the ball, turn around and jog down the court and his eyes cross a little bit? That's a dash of downs. He's a millionaire. He's the baddest man in the NBA. They can do it. They can do it. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. But the thing that gets me the most, the thing that gets me the most is the public restroom attendant. I just, I don't understand the principle behind this. There's a guy in the bathroom, a public bathroom selling candy and gum and mints. That's disgusting. It's filthy. It's filthy. If you went over to your friend's house and he had a jar of Skittles sitting on the back of the toilet, are you eating any of them? No. 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 But for whatever reason, that's acceptable in a public restroom. And I don't know about any of you all on here, but I've never rushed into a restroom in any kind of emergency like, oh my God, oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. Oh my God, is that a Twix? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get me a Twix. I'm in a Twix kind of mood all of a sudden. And I just don't like somebody sitting outside the stall while I'm in there, you know? I just don't, I'm not comfortable with that. I don't like, I have shoe phobia, you know? I'm nervous that somebody I know is gonna recognize my shoes and then associate what's going on in there with me, you know? So I'm trying to be discreet. I try to be quiet, you know? But the toilet seat cover, that thing doesn't help. That thing is so loud, it sounds like I'm unwrapping Christmas presents in there. So I come out, I wash my hands, I started to walk, he handed me a paper towel. I said, thank you very much. I started to walk out, he stopped me, he put his hand on my chest. He said, whoa, 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 you can't tip somebody? Tip? Man, where were you when I was doing the dirty work? Huh, where were you when I needed you? Oh, I I'm trying to support a family. Well, who told you to open a snack shack in the toilet? That's filthy. Get a real job, man. Get a real job like everybody else. Disney's hiring, they got one opening. Pasadena, that's my time. I'm Ryan Sickler. Thank you very much.